This is Wamda Studio and we're joined by Shaquille Jaffer and Hassan Nakfi. Hi guys, thanks for being with us. We are basically a group of companies. Um, one is co a corporate event management company by the name of Resource Marketing Consultants. And the other one is a brand activation company called h and Hassan and Shaquille. I started my career with Unilever and uh, post that in, in Gillette in Pakistan, UK, and came back and started this uh, company. And um, corporate event management was something that I embarked upon. It was marketing services, but basically predominantly it became corporate event management. And within that field, it became seminars, conferences, uh, workshops, uh, foreign direct investment conferences, uh, uh, client engagement, one's team buildings. And um, it was, say, like a couple of years ago, we decided that, you know, why not diversify? And I, uh, Hassan, who has been with Shell and with Pepsi uh, uh, and with Imar, um, uh, decided to come back and I said, Hassan, why don't we start off a new, you know, why, not, why don't we diversify? And I was looking to diversify and partner up with, um, you know, and make it into a much professional outfit. And that's where Hassan comes in. Well, um, I think um, I, I have dealt with Shaquille from the client side and uh, I saw a lot of room for improvement. <laughs> Just kidding. But, you know, uh, so I, you know, we, we felt ourselves that uh, there, there, there is a lot of areas uh, where we felt we could add value. And therefore, we started the brand activation company as a separate entity altogether and uh, with a particular focus on brand activation. And, um, you know, we felt that um, a, l a lot of companies, there are a lot of players out there, and some of them are doing a, a fabulous job as well. But there's still a lot of room for work, and there's there's a long way to go. And we've started, you know, we embarked on that journey a couple of years ago, and we've come a long way. Definitely, in Pakistan, there's a lot of scope for new companies and new business ventures. But what makes your company different from any other company who's into brand uh, brand activation, for example? Okay, a couple of key things which may sound very uh, minute to some people who don't understand the business. Um, when I was working in the corporate world and I was dealing with agencies, what would happen is that in the initial pitch meetings, you'll see all of the, the top management coming in, you know, the high-tech laptops and uh, suits and all, you know, and the presentations taking place. But the on-ground reality was totally different. You, d you never saw, saw those faces again, you okay. know, after they won the, the award. That's it. You know, you never saw those again. What we're doing differently is one, we are personally involved in, in nearly you know, so all other projects, and we, we go that extra mile in hiring people, um, you know, for, you know, whether on a permanent basis or on a contractual basis, who we feel can relate to the, the top level of management that, you know, of our clients as well. So what happens is there's no disconnect, there's no Chinese whisper taking place, because on ground, you know, like I remember in my last organization where I, you know, uh, from a client side, I went on ground to look at one of the activities that we were going to run, and there was none of the management there, yeah. and the things were not as were promised. Everything's and, made in the boardroom. Yeah, and, and, and what happens is the on ground person, I mean, that person doesn't really know what was discussed. So there's a big gap in, you know, uh, in what is what's agreed upon and, and what is delivered. Basically, to add to what Hassan is saying, I think it's the quality of service. You know, and that's um, that's something I think has been associated with with the group as such. That uh, that's what we have been providing uh, for from 1996 onwards, and and we have clients who have come back to us. You know, it's, it's easy to get a client, but to retain a client and to have that client keep coming back to you, um, that's very important. I think it's also a benefit of being an entrepreneur is that personal involvement in something that you have that you know that personal connection you have with your client. That important? It goes without saying. It goes without saying. And you know, sometimes both of us say, you know, um, you know, people ask us, "Oh, you're here at this event." You know, it might be a small event, but what we really feel is that we must give that service, whether it's a large event or a small event. We are basically both detailers, you know, and sometimes it goes to the point that people are. Yeah, we try to be perfectionists. I guess that's what it is. So, what do you think for the for the upcoming couple of years? What are the prospects in terms of both companies? Where do you see them going? Okay, the, the objective now, and we're working on that, is the, our vision right now is to make this, both the group into an uh, agency. Right now you do have uh, companies which are running independently, but when we're talking of a full-fledged agency, like an advertising agency, you have, there's no really full-fledged corporate event agency 
uh, which is out here, or a brand activation agency. What we want to make this group is, is when we say an agency, which is which has got the creative, the HR, the execution part, you know, and to take the next leap, um, you know, where, where, where we are right now, I think we are ready for the next leap. Uh, the companies, um, RMC has been there since 1996, uh, HNS has been there since a couple of three years, three years, or two, three years. I think we are ready to take that leap, and that's what we're looking forward to. Okay, my last question, uh, Hassan and Shaquille, would be that in expanding, obviously, I mean, it not just takes a leap of faith, but it takes some capital, it takes some, I mean, it's really it comes down yeah. to the, when you come down to the nitty gritties of it, it's all about that. Mm -hmm. But what are some of the difficulties that you think you'll encounter while putting this new dream of yours together? I think one of the first things would be our families, I mean, because we hardly get to see them. And the industry that we are in, we're working on the weekends and we're, you know, working late evenings and everything. No, but um, seriously speaking, um, yes, there are going to be a lot of challenges. Nothing's going to happen overnight. Now it's all about execution and really going out there, you know, and sort of uh, doing it. Our direction is right. Our vision is right. We have a lot of faith in that. And um, we're ready to take the challenge as it comes. I think that would be great and good luck to you. Thanks for Thank being you. with us. Thank, Thank you. you very much.